You're watching Hollywood One on One, presented by Star Wars Entertainment. TV. Hi, this is Tyrone Tan with Star Wars Entertainment TV, and we're going one on one, actually one on five with the Bosco family, and as well uh, the Bosco Brothers group. So tune in for this special edition of Hollywood One on One on Star Wars Entertainment TV. Hi, this is Tyrone Tan with Star Wars Entertainment TV, and we're going one on one here with longtime friend and boy. Dionisio Bosco. He knew me as Dion, but now I am Dionisio. <laughs> now listen, uh, Dion, you know, yeah. if you don't mind. Um, listen, we, we obviously, you know, we've been talking to your family and your brothers. Uh, we've, we go way back, and I've known you when, when, when you were young in this business. You know, I know each one has a different answer, and like I said, uh, each one goes with their heart, but the what or who in your life inspired you to become an actor and ultimately just an artist in this business? Well, ultimately, as an artist, um, my whole family pretty much inspired me, from my mom, my dad, but even my aunts and uncles. Um, from Ever since I can remember, there was always music playing in the house, and no one was a real musician except for maybe two of our aunts and uncles, and they would bring over the guitar, and even though we didn't have a karaoke machine, we would always just sing songs acoustically with the guitar, and like that was just the environment we grew up in, and that led to dancing. And that led to bringing us down here to, to acting. We actually even did um, San Francisco Ballet Company for a year. Um, it was very much like a Billy Elliot style, you know, uh, growing up, because we were kids from the hood going up to these beautiful glass buildings in the city. Um, but it was it's pretty much my whole family, like top to bottom, um, really, really inspired us and really support us to this day. Um, and you can't really get by without that support, so. Now, obviously, you've done a great body of work, and, and, and not only just as a, you know, an Asian artist, but just as an actor in general. You know, growing up with you and, and seeing what you've been doing, what is there a favorite role that you love doing uh, through your career? And, uh, you know, so the audience uh, you um, know, gets an idea of, you know, what maybe what, what, what you love doing. Uh, I just love working. Um, <laughs> unfortunately, I, I have worked uh, quite a bit. I was actually on a show for five years called City Guys, um, and it was about, it was like a, Inner City Saved by the Bell, Hip Hop Saved by the Bell, if you will. And uh, my role I auditioned for was supposed to be for like a Puerto Rican guy. And obviously I'm not Puerto Rican, uh, but I went in there and did my thing and they were like, wow, what are you? And I was like, well, I'm Filipino. And they're like, wow, because we can't put a finger on it. And I actually got fan mail from like Koreans and Japanese and Latins. And they're like, wow, thank you for representing us. And they never, they never really addressed it on the show because um, I spanned that whole thing. And plus, it was just it was just five years of just hanging out, making really good friends, and building this character uh, that was just hilarious and just wanted to have fun and hijinks and everything, everything that a kid really does, you know. Well, now and, uh, the, now to piggyback on, on that comment now, because I was going to bring up the fact that you know that here you were, um, Filipino actor, uh, Asian actor, and ethnic actor, um, and there's not much out there, uh, you, you know, growing up, but you know. The fact that you got a series, a television series where you're you're the lead, how did that feel for you, knowing what, you know the, you know the the walls that were up in Hollywood? How was that the moment that you knew you got a possibly potential you know five year contract, etc.? I mean, of course, I mean, not that to say that people haven't worked on a show before, but it is. I think there is a little bit difference when you are in in, in an ethnic community and then you're knowing that you're going to be on a series, especially Filipino. What was that like? That was amazing. Um, what more can you ask for when you're like, you turn 20 years old and you're like, wow, I got a show and, and um, you know, there's all these barriers and everything. And it's actually changing now with like this whole Disney thing. They're like really doing colorblind casting and, and hopefully in a couple years, we won't even need to be talking about this. But um, I feel fortunate to be one of the people that have helped break down this wall in, in what ways I have. Um, but when you, as any actor would tell you, when you get a big role like that, or a big movie where I did a big movie that I filmed in Australia and Hawaii with Halle Berry, you're like just in awe of, of what this business could actually do for you. But then also, you know, help your community out and everything. And you, you really like, you know, you're like, just think about yourself sometimes. And you're like, wow, I, I really did this. But being who I am, um, just the color of my skin, the shape of my eyes, it inspires other people. And like, I've had many young actors 
meet me at auditions and like, wow, dude, you're Dion Bosco. And, and, and I, I came to this town because you and your family. And I'm like, oh, that's great, man. Good luck. And, and maybe they booked the job because I, I probably didn't. Uh, <laughs> but it, I don't, it doesn't matter. You know what I mean? I'm like, wow, I inspired somebody. And actually, that makes you feel better than any paycheck does. You know, that's great. Now, piggybacking on that, we have talked about inspiration. What inspirational messages can you give to someone out there? Because, I mean, there's, there's a lot of people out there that are trying to get in this business or just maybe just down on their luck. Um, what keeps you going and what messages can you give to someone just to uh, inspire them to, to be, you know, in this business? Um, to do something every day that you love to do, uh, like I said before with the group. Um, I, like, I just started writing a script because, like, I've auditioned for a lot of roles and it's nothing that really is very much like me. So I'm actually writing a piece that's very close to me and I'll be the lead of the movie and when does that really happen a lot of times. So I figured why not, I'm gonna try to write this thing. And it actually turns out really good and, and everybody, I got some interest in producing it. But um, with, with the internet being there and cameras being so cheap nowadays, and if you wanna do something, do it. Everything is, is right there. You just plug your computer into your, uh, your, 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 your video camera into the computer and, and shoot whatever. and. Then, Upload it, and uh, there's been many YouTube sensations, like from small parts of the country that you know you would never even think of, and and now you know they're almost they're like a household name. So why not you? Why not you? Just do it, as Nike would say. <laughs> now listen, uh, Dion. Obviously, you guys are you're also involved with the, with your your group. You have it's the Bosco Brothers. Is that correct? Yeah, Bosco Bros. Bosco Brothers. And again, you can check them out at Bosco Bros. Right here. At dot com. Is that correct? Dot, dot com, right there. Bosco Bros. Dot com. Check it out at the bottom of the screen. Check out their music. Support them. Support uh, Dion over here. Um, their family. Again, uh, they're, they're great, good friends. And again, I, I wish you the best. God bless you, man. It's good, you know. Uh, thanks for you know being on the show, and uh, as well as uh, you know for all these years of friendship. Again, this is Tyrone Tan with Dionisio Bosco. And you're watching Star Wars Entertainment TV. Tune in for our next episode with the Bosco family on Star Wars Entertainment TV.